Don't you ever go broke helping family and friends who won't even help you when you go broke. Stay woke and play broke, man. Because real situations exposes people every single time. But here it is. Guess what? You giving your lives to please people. I don't care if it's your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your best friend. Any word that got a, a friend at the end of it, let me tell you something. Don't you ever go broke trying to please these people. Because it'd be your family and your friends that will do it to you. They're not going to help you when you go broke. As a matter of fact, you go through a real situation. You go through a tough time. I'm telling you, man, God's getting ready to expose people around you. People are showing you how they really feel about you. <laughs> And it's sad because guess what? Half of the time, guess what? You ain't got to be going through nothing. Just play broke. Just play broke and say, I don't got it. I'm going through a hard time right now. I promise you, they're going to really show you how they really feel about you. <laughs> they don't want to be bothered with you then. Come on, talk to me. Because guess what? It's all about what they can get out of you. These people are users. They will use you for everything that you have. Oh, there are freeloaders out there. You'd be surprised. And you always find yourself, guess what? Catering to these people. You're always finding yourself, guess what? Giving to these people. Who not giving you anything in return. They're not reciprocating no kind of energy back to you in return. Anybody that's not reciprocating the same energy back to you, guess what? You got to cut them loose, man. Because let me tell you something. Love don't love nobody. Love don't pay the bills. When it's all said and done. And, it, and it's sad because guess what? These are the same people that be trying to get you. They be the same people, amen, feel entitled to your blessings. Oh, it'll be your girlfriend. It'll be your boyfriend. You'd be surprised. You sleeping with the enemy. You're not even knowing. They using you. Trust me. You go broke. And I promise you. People are going to show their true colors. And when they show you who they really are, the hell with them. Believe them. And keep on going. Because let me tell you something, man. God got bigger and better plans for you. God going to send somebody that's going to show you the same kind of love you showing them. God going to send somebody that's going to give you that same, hey, that first class treatment, that same care that you giving them. I don't know who this message is for, but God told me to take right now and get back to doing you. Because I don't know, I don't know about you. I'm back to doing me. Don't you be afraid to put it come and blow and say I'm back to doing me. You too busy doing for everybody, catering everybody, loaning to everybody, giving to everybody. When the last time somebody actually really catered to you? That part you can't even answer it. When was the last time somebody actually really went out of their pocket and gave you something? Say hey, you know what? Don't even pay me back. You a real one. I respect you because when I really have it, you have my back. So I want to give you something out of the kindness of my heart. And guess what? You ain't got to pay me back. When was the last time somebody really gave you first class treatment? When was the last time somebody took you out to eat? Because the chosen ones, we like to be catered to too. We like acts of service too. Come on, talk to me. We like unconditional love as well. Come on and talk to me, chosen ones. Everything don't got to be physical touch. We don't always got to be a down with the nitty gritty in the bed. We like acts of service. We like gifts as well. Come on, talk to me, chosen ones. Because here it is. You find yourself helping people, man. People, when they go through their little tough situation, when they go through a real situation, guess what? You showed your true colors to these people. I don't know who this message is for. You didn't show family, friends, your ex-girlfriend, your ex-boyfriend, whoever the hell they are, whoever got a friend at the end, your best friend that turned their back on you. You showed these people that you was a real one when they was going through their real situation. And, you, and people wonder why you so blessed and highly favored. People wonder why every time they turn around, the Lord just keep on blessing you. It's simply because, guess what? You got a good heart. 
It's because you give. We're natural givers. But once we realize, guess what? You ain't doing nothing but using us, trying to walk all over us, use our kindness for weakness. You can just keep on taking, 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 taking. Guess what? We're going to pull our energy back. And we guess we're going to do? We're going to keep on pressing towards the mark. Because it's sad to really see how people really are when you go through a real situation. But when everything is all good, when the money is coming in, when you at your best, Come on and talk to me. Everybody hand out. Everybody want to come smiling in your face. Everybody want to blow your phone up. Calling themselves quote unquote checking on you. No, they're not checking on you. They see you blowing up. I'm telling you how the game go. Stop letting these quote unquote family friends feel entitled to your blessings. You don't owe them nothing. Because certain people just only love you by the condition that you can provide. But the minute you can't provide anything, you can't give anything, guess what? It turns into hate. It turns into confusion. It, it turns into turmoil. They don't want to be bothered with you then. Come on and talk to me. You're going to find yourself stressed out, depressed, miserable. By trying to help everybody. Come in to tell you right now. The worst feeling in the world. Keeping 100 with you is when you go broke. I'm not going to sit up here and cap. Learn how to save your money. Learn how to invest your money. I'd rather invest in stocks and bonds. Than it be in stock into people. People ain't going to pay you back. But that stock going to pay you back. Invest into yourself. Start betting on yourself. Start taking yourself out to eat. Start loving yourself. Because how can you love somebody else if you don't love yourself? How can you cater to somebody else? You can't even cater to yourself. And people are gonna come at you every single time. What are you doing? What are we doing? Oh, you can't do this for me, you can't do that for me. No, but when you put your foot down, oh, it's a problem. When you play broke, oh, then now they're showing you how they really feel about you. Oh, when they say they're going to ride for you, but when your ride is shut down, you're on the side of the freeway, guess what? They're going to ride right past you. Don't you ever go broke helping these fake family members and these so-called friends and that ex-narcissist love of yours trying to please people. Now you broke, busted, and disgusted. They go on, go on with the wind. They go on to the new supply. Now you looking crazy. I'm telling you how the game go. So because God bless you don't mean, guess what, that blessing is for, for, for other people. And people feel like you owe them something because you family, you friends. Oh, we grew up together. Oh, we went through this together. I don't owe you nothing. Don't you ever go broke trying to please these people. Because I just have to find this out today. Real situation exposes fake people every single time. Do you think people going to pick you up when your car shut down? Do you think people going to cater to you and treat you out, out to eat? Knowing that, that, guess what, the last time you treated them out, they know this time they owe you. And, and not even the fact that they owe you. It, it's, just the, the, it's just the thought that counts. People don't even have the thought. And that's what count. Yo, you've been treating me out, man. You've been taking me out to eat. Let me take you out to eat, baby. It's on me today. I appreciate you for, you know, for what you did. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate you. Hey, baby, look. Check your cash out real quick. I just blessed you one time. I appreciate everything that you did for me. There's a little extra. You ain't getting that from your ex. You ain't getting that from your boo thing. But they constantly want you to go take them out to eat. Constantly want you to spend money on them. They constantly want you to do, do, do for them. And it don't necessarily have to be money, but it, it can be anything. We didn't help so many people without wanting anything in return. And coming to find out they can't even return some of that good energy back to us. Coming to find out, guess what? Once they figure they can use you the first time, they're going to use you again. Then once they feel like they can use you again, or they come in a third time. 
You got to put your foot down and play broke. Look, I ain't got it. Don't even respond. Understand what I'm going to say? Because God is going to take you to places that you would never imagine you could ever go. God is going to bless you more than you can imagine. I'm telling you what's going on. Everything that you have done, every good deed that you have done to people, guess what? God didn't forget about you. Be not weary in well-doing. They wasn't with you when you were shooting in the jail. They wasn't with you when you started your business from ground up. They wasn't with you when you hit rock bottom. They couldn't even offer you the floor to lay on. But let me tell you, God is exposing people left and right. And I can care less who they are. Once people expose themselves and show you who they really are, man, you got to believe them, man. I'm telling you, you got to believe these people. But they don't even know, guess what? You're not even broke. <laughs> You're not even broke. You're just not spending no more money on them. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I'm not even broke. I'm just not spending no money on you. You ain't spending no money on me. Why should I spend money on you? You ain't catering to me. Why should I cater, keep catering to you? You ain't coming through for me when I need you. Why should I keep on coming through for you when, when you need me? Y'all got to start matching energy, man. I'm telling you what's going on. People go, always want you to spend on them. Spurge on them. But when was the last time somebody really splurged on you? Let's keep it 100. Let's keep it a buck. When was the last time somebody opened the door open for you? Yeah, you go in first. When was the last time somebody was actually there for you when you was really going through a situation? Because according to my memory, to my knowledge, every time I went through a real situation, guess what? People were never there for me that I was, when I was there for them, they were never there for me. And I was speaking straight facts. I don't give a damn if they family, friends, girl, ex-girlfriend, whoever you want to call it, best friend, whatever you want to call it. They were never there for me when I went through a real situation. But we always find ourselves there for other people. When they sick. Body rocking in pain. We there. We at the hospital. When they ain't got two niggas to rub together, we still right there because guess what? We, we, we ain't with you because of your money. We ain't with you because of what you got. We with you because we want the best for you. We trying to make a better you. So I got chip trying to tell you, told us, you gotta play broke and stay woke. Keep your eyes open. Because I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Money do not grow on trees. It's not easy coming across money. So when God bless you with money, you got to really, really just start learning how to save your money. Because that rainy day going to come. And when that rainy day come and you ain't got no money, you can't call at least 10 people. Can't even call at least five people and say, hey, man, I ain't got it. I'm telling you, that's the times we living in. God said you're going to know them by the fruits that they bear. And every time, guess what? When you go through a real situation, haven't you noticed? They're not bearing you no good fruit. And bearing good fruits is like acts of service. What are you doing? I don't need you to tell me. I need you to show me. You got people apologizing to you. I don't care about no apology. Your actions speak louder than them words. Them act them, your actions should be speaking louder than your words right now. People should be literally dying to try to cater to you. Dying to take you out to eat. People should be asking you, hey, can I take you out to dinner? You chosen. They not. What's wrong with that picture? You over here catering to them like these people really chosen. I don't know who this message is for. But the people you looking out for, they ain't nowhere near chosen like you. You need to get back to start doing you. 
And I don't give a damn if you got to wine and dine all by yourself. I don't care if you got to go out all by your lonesome. I don't care if you got to get on a flight by yourself. Let me tell you what's going on. If they not holding you down, they slowing you down. That's straight facts. And then people got a nerve to forget on what they did to you. They know exactly what they did to you. They know they used your ass. Keep on ghosting you and thinking it's okay to come on back. And then by the time they come back, they think it's okay to get this first class treatment. The hell you been? Then you got people hand out. They only hit you up when they need something. They only quote unquote check on you, hey amen, when they really in need of something. They don't give a damn about you, man. And it's been like this before. People was already plotting and planning to use you. Your family and your so-called friends, they was already planning, plotting and planning to use you. Your ex-boyfriend and your ex-girlfriend, they was already plotting and planning to you. The, the first day they met you, they knew that, guess what, you got generational wealth. They knew you blessed and highly favored. They know you got the bag. Don't you ever go broke helping people who will not help you when you go broke. I don't give a fuck about you. And no, I'm not apologizing for my language. They don't give a rat's ass about you. When you're going to finally wake up and realize who, what kind of people, hey amen, is around you. Because they fake and phony. You too real to be hanging out with people, hey amen, who ain't real like you, man. You too genuine to be hanging out with people, hey amen, who don't got no genuine spirit, who don't got no, no contrite heart. You too real to be hanging out with these people who's not of God. These people ain't of God. Give a damn how they look. I don't care how they body look. I ain't give a damn about none of that stuff. It's all about your heart. I'm starting to realize some stuff. Because I only met some of the most unattractive, ugliest people on the outside. But when, I, when they opened up their mouth, I felt their spirit. And I said, wow, you're beautiful. People I'm starting to realize it's all about the heart now. But we falling for the looks. Oh, you going for the body. Oh, you, oh, you, you just going because of, oh, what, 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 what they potentially can bring. And now you're not even paying attention to who they are right now. You worry about how these people are going to potentially be in the future. They're not even there yet. <laughs> As a matter of fact, they're not even on your level. They say you're doing good. They see y'all here winning. They see y'all here getting to this bag. But do you think they're going to help you when you go broke? Hell to the gnaw. Ain't nobody coming to save you. Ain't no more Mr. Nice Guy, Mr. Nice Girl. That's out. And when you finally learn that people only hit you up because they know that, guess what? You're going to treat them with some first-class treatment. They know you're getting ready to give them first-class service. They know these things, man. They know you genuine. And they're going to always come back because they know you genuine. They're going to always have their hand out because they know you genuine. But you got to learn how to say what? Talk to this hand. Because guess what? My bank account don't understand. Don't you be afraid to put a comment below and say, talk to this hand. Because my bank account don't even understand. You done worked hard for this money. You done worked hard for this level up. And you got to realize, guess what? When nobody there with you, when you hit rock bottom, when nobody there with you, when you, when you went broke, people start showing you how they really feel about you. They said, fuck you, screw you. You know, I'm going to keep it real. And it's sad because people knew your situation. I can see if they didn't know. They knew exactly what you was going through. Guess what? They didn't want to help you. Basically, they're saying, fuck you. You didn't have a pot to piss in, nor a window to throw out of. Oh, they say, oh, you ain't got to leave here. You ain't got to go, but you got to get the hell up out of here. Hello? You going right back to your car. Sleeping right back into your car. That's why when you go over people's houses... I don't even like going over people's house no more. Knowing that, guess what? The love was never there anyway for me. I got my own shit. I don't give a damn if there's nobody over here with me. Jesus is my company. 
You got to learn how to enjoy being alone. Enjoy receiving these blessings alone. I'm telling you what's going on. This is why I don't like being at other people's houses no more. Because it don't feel like home. I'm telling you, man, you go to certain people's houses. I'm telling you, man, you, you go, I'm telling you, man, you're not going to feel like you at home. You, you, go, you at somebody else's place. People carry on certain spirits. Come on and talk to me. Everybody house ain't clean. Understand what I'm getting ready to say. Everybody, I'm trying to tell you what's going on. Everybody ain't going to really treat you how you would treat them if they, if they were at your house. They're not going to do it. Everybody not going to show you love. And show you that first class treatment. People don't even treat you with, with the most respect when you come into their house. You got to go to people's house. When you go to people's house, you looking around. They're not pulling you out no chair. They're not celebrating you. They feel like they got to tolerate your ass. The minute you walk into their presence, they mad at you. The minute you walk into their presence, guess what they doing? They looking at you from head to toe like, who did he think he is? Who did she think she, she is? They feel like they got to tolerate you because they jealous of you. But you going around these fake ass family members, these fake ass so-called friends. Your ex-girlfriend, that's why she an uh, ex for a reason. Your ex-boyfriend, that's why he an ex for a reason. You go around these goddamn same people who feel like they got to tolerate your ass. Instead of celebrating you, man, what can I do for you, man? What you want from the store? What you want to eat, man? You ain't got to pay nothing. It's on me, man. I just respect you as a person. Let me take you out to eat today. Let me just wine and dine to you. Come on, talk to me. Here's a couple of extra 20s to hold you during the week. I know it ain't much, but here's a couple of extra 20s, man. It's all about the thought that counts. So don't you ever go broke helping people. I don't give a damn who they are. Who would never help you when you go broke. Because that's one of the worst feelings you can ever feel in the whole wide world is when you go broke and nobody there to help you. Man, that man sucks. You don't even know where your next meal coming from. But you're constantly taking people out to eat, treating people. And every time you, you hit somebody up and ask them for a favor or whatever, they always going to tell you, I ain't got it. Either they ain't got it or you got to check with me next week or check with me next month or check with me goddamn next year. You ain't going to never hear from these people. And when people got money, guess what? We don't give a fuck about you. When people got money, they don't give a damn. They don't even think about you. Oh, he ain't even going to remember. She ain't going to remember. Yeah. Yeah, I just got them. I ain't got to pay them back. That's my family. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my friend. I ain't got to pay them back. I pay them back shit next year. Oh, you'd be surprised when people, oh, you, people are conniving. And they're not even knowing you're not even actually broke. <laughs> now, who's the joke now? You're not even broke. Got to be very careful who you're spending your money on. Because y'all realize, man, energy is the new currency. Come on. A lot of people don't deserve you. A lot of people ain't going to appreciate you. Since they don't appreciate you, guess what? They don't deserve you. They don't appreciate your presence. They deserve your absence. Period, point, blank. Stack this money, get to this paper, and live your best life. Because let me tell you something. What somebody else won't do, somebody else will. I'm telling you. People showing you. God showing you who people really are. You're going through a tough situation right now. I don't know who this message is for. But you're going through a tough situation right now. And you expect somebody to be there for you. You expect somebody to show you the same kind of love you were showing them. But no. They didn't give a fuck about you. They said screw you. Or oh, they hunked at you when you was walking. Come on and talk to me. But they fell to realize guess what. You can make somebody from working at Burger King into them being a CEO of fucking Burger King. They messing with the wrong one. Even if you were to be broke, they fail to realize who was in their presence. You are the chosen one. 
You are so blessed and highly favored. Even when you ain't got no money, you got the anointing. When you ain't got no money, you still gifted. When you ain't got no money, guess what? You still got that personality, that energy, man. Money don't make you, you make money. And people fail to realize, man, guess what? You really him, you really her without money. Don't you be afraid to put a couple of say, I'm him, I'm her without money. So get back to doing you. Because I'm back to doing me. And stop trying to please all these different people, family and friends. Stop trying to give people your last just to please people. Oh yeah, I'm still cool. I'm still down. Oh, I'm still family. Here you go. People feel like they're entitled to your blessings. But the minute you go broke or the minute you go through a situation, the minute you in the hospital, your deathbed, ain't nobody showing up. They rather show up when you sleeping in your grave than when you on a deathbed still breathing. You better pay attention to what's going on. Family ain't shit. They rather see you sleeping in your grave than to see you breathing in the hospital. Y'all better pay attention. They rather take a picture of you when you broke or when you out here struggling or you in the hospital. Oh, they take a picture of you. Picture come out real nice and clear. Or when you look in your best, oh, they fidgety now. Oh, they handshaking now. Oh, yeah. The picture coming out blurry. And you up here shining bright like a diamond. Then they give you a phone back. My arm hurt. I don't want to take no more pictures. Yeah, I know why you don't want to take no more pictures. Because guess what? I'm out here winning. I'm out here doing way better than you ever would do in your life. That's why you want to take my picture. You ain't got to take my picture. I take my own selfie. Understand what I'm getting ready to say. Get from around these fake ass people, man. Get from around these people who, who only, only time they come back into your life is when they want something, when they need something. They number users. Get from around these people. Kick rocks. Because I can do all bad all by myself. And as long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. Don't you be afraid to put it coming below and say, I can do all bad all by myself. And as long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. So don't you ever go broke. By helping people. Who will never help you. When you go broke. Let's run this bag up. We the chosen ones.